I have been looking for guides. I think I found a way. You have? Yes. So, um, I figured out a way. So, you know that one attack where he has a uh, circular wave thing? Like after he jumps up in the air or after he swings his hammer? Uh, so, phase three, when he has that giant wave that rotates in a oh, like the direction and doesn't change. Blue, like spheres? Yeah. Well, no, that's the last wave. I'll get to that later. So, the first. So, there's the first wave where he just lands down his hammer. So, he has basically three attacks he has a dash charge, a dash dash charge, and then he has a hammer hit. And then, after when he goes into the air and slams down, he can fire his projectile. So, that's the first phase. The second phase is the enemy spawning phase. Phase. And then the third phase, when he slams on the ground, he has those lines of halos that rotate around him that, that have that beam light and it. Yeah, that attack that gave yeah, me absolutely no those. trouble the first time I fought him, but then just randomly insta killed me a different time. Yeah, so there are two ways to beat it. So the first one is you walk in the counter clockwise in the opposite direction that it's going in. And then before it goes, you pick a lane to go in. Now that's more complex, but there was an easy way. You know those two back pillars on the far end of the arenas that are above the ground? You can, if you're up them, you can avoid the attack entirely. Do you mean like on top of the pillars, or do you mean like up, up the ramp things that are on each side? Up the ramp, up the ramp thing. You should be able to avoid them if you have enough speed all right and then there was also another thing i'm not sure if this is still in here but there was a bug which if he does a slam attack and if you're on those pillars and if he goes to you he will get stuck on some invisible geometry or something bug out and then if you move down the pillows, he would take four damage sometimes, and that would take a considerable amount of his health. But I'm not sure if that's soon in the game. I don't want to glitch him out to beat him anyway. And then the third thing, so he's immune to most free space attacks, except for hundred, except for artifices, apparently. Huh. Because I I'm not sure if that's still a thing, but you can totally cheese him with that one attack. Well, I suppose let's put this knowledge to the test. We could, yeah. And also, I learned that the uh the launch attack, which launches you in the air, is not that beneficial to the, the, uh, the flame flamethrower attack because it puts you in a state of free fall which you can get hit. Huh. Yes, it, it's a basically kind of a get out of jail card but it's not a guaranteed oh look, I am now 100% safe from all coming damage. You're basically you have two uh, ways to get to the ground. You hovel and you'll fall, which isn't fast enough to get you to the ground. So you take one, you take damage if you're in the air. And also I learned with the um, jellyfish, any cover, no matter how small, as long as it's line of sight with the jellyfish, with its explosion attack, you can avoid it. So You mean you the wandering use... vagrant? Yeah, the wandering vagrant. Yeah, I still hate it though, because there's just sometimes you can't get to cover. Yeah. Remember the uh, worst boss in the worst place thing? Oh yeah. Where it was on that corner on uh, that one map that's really blue yeah. or whatever. 
Also, we should we totally forgot the intro for the third time. We're gonna beat him this time. Hello, everybody. We're gonna do it. I I've been studying, watching stuff, and I also learned about proc coefficients and apply on damage percent and that kind of stuff. So nice. I've learned a lot of useless. Oh, well, there's I a guess teleporter useful, up there. Useless knowledge? I'm lagging. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I just took a ton of ball uh, damage. It's fine. Yeah. I'm just burning everything. Uh, I'm just lagging. I don't know what's going on. I'm not go I'm just going to assume there's enemies around me. Probably a good thing to assume in this game. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why I'm at, anyway. I don't either, honestly. Oh, I teleported back. Oh, there, there we go. A lot of things applied. I was like... I could totally die for a second, and I just see all of those enemies die that were near me, and then I see a bug near me, and then it also dies. Oh nice, a red item already. You're uh, not good. lagging anymore though, are you? No. It's at random intervals, and once it starts, it usually subsides. I see. But I'm excited for when we ever beat this game. The mods, oh my god, look so interesting. They do. There's a playable Mithrix mod, because of course there is. Uh... I... I bet we would just, like, get, like, a shit to the mods. How yeah. are you doing on that? By the way, I mean I'm good on items. We might want to do the teleporter now and then look for a few more oh, items yeah. afterwards. Also, I learned how overpowered the leaf item was. <laughs> the lucky leaf item. Right. Uh, are you ready for the teleporter? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, it's over there. I'm just going slowly, humble. I'm sure that the 57 Leaf Clover is a good item, I just don't really notice its effects because it's kind of like a passive buff. Yeah, it's Whereas a passive buff. Whereas something with the ukulele, you see its effects right away. Yeah, basically, um, you know the arm proc effects? So each yeah, it, arm proc... Yeah, it re-rolls each thing. Yeah, so basically the arm proc effect cannot trigger itself, but let's say I the ukulele and the bomb thing. It could trigger the bomb thing, so if you have enough on, um, no on HP, I need some healing. Oof. I wish I could use my uh, ice as cover. I mean, I can kind of. I don't know why that isn't a thing. Like, there's a mod that does that. I don't see why it wouldn't be in the base game. Yeah. I mean, my eyes are still overpowered. If anything touches it, they get frozen. Which we probably would have seen if I didn't just murder that Lemurian. Yeah. It freezes all enemies. I use my secondary to also freeze enemies, so I have two freezing stuff. Okay. And I have a flame pool. Instead of a jetpack. Yeah. Because the jetpack is interesting. Also, I learned uh, that the teleportal can spawn randomly even if you don't collect uh, the uh, shop thing. But it's guaranteed. Indeed you can. But I got the shop thing anyway, so. Yeah, I did not know that though. 
You can go so fast. I can. I'm, slow I'm just slowly trying to keep up with you. You can just probably push us all the items before- No! 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 No, all the items are mine! You can have that one. Oh, of course I would say that, and then it would be like the best item ever. Oh, prick glasses. Yeah, prick glasses. Ooh, since I bought that thing for you, can you buy this for me? Yeah. Because I just mark. really wanted to do the joke where I was like, gonna buy all of them. Oh, that. No, stop it! <laughs> Mine. Uh, you have a red item, you'll be fine. I need passive healing. Here, there's an item for you. Uh, Whatever it may be. Yeah, I was. Also, eventually, with enough stacks of teddy bears, you can guarantee a um, no hit chance, but I mean. That's a lot of items. Yeah, after you get way, way too many over time, you just live and die by RNG, as I've said. Yeah, I think it only triggers on fire, though, because that's the only thing I think. Speaking of fire, to... useless use item that just gets rid of effects. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else, so I'll go through the portal once you pick up that item. Because it's we useless, can always... but it's good to have anyway if you we don't have anything else. You can crit me drone, drone. What now? We can always give it to a crit me drone. I mean, if we want drones that are just there to take hits for us, then the backup is our best bet for that. Because would it... Wait, does it clear all or just yours? Clears all negative status effects. I'm getting gesture to drown, yes. Uh, it, it doesn't clear the satisfaction of anyone besides yourself. Ew, meteors. No. <laughs> also, if you had the positive one, if you had the positive clover and then the negative uh, Luno item, they basically cancel each other yeah, out. Yeah, you already. Yeah. And you can basically, um... Get yeah, beneficial <laughs> Luna item. Yeah. We should probably you... save the void fields for at least after the next level. Yeah. Um, and also the, um, uh, what was it again? Um, if you drink that potion that was there, um... The drugs? With, yeah, with the drugs with the positive leaf, it can, uh, reward the thing to give you the beneficial like, you don't get the status ailment of being addicted to it. Apparently with enough fuel cells and gesture of the drown, you can just have the buff active constantly so the downside doesn't even matter. Yeah. But that's a very specific build that it's a risk. Of rain, too. Oh god, no, not this joke again. <laughs> I'm just playing it so safe right now. I'm okay. not. Uh, this over here. Think of playing it safe. We should. Uh... Also, if you get to the boss earlier, I think you can do more damage to it. I think because I saw someone playing. At the easiest difficulty on an easier mode. I'm not sure if it was because it was an easier mode or because he got there sooner. Ooh, uh, do you want me to activate that? Yes. Since it's um, medium. Fucking wisp. It's so annoying. Oh, right, I forget. Bustling fungus. Ah. Yeah. The good news is I can get rid of uh, flight damage. I need some healing items, so if you come across any, let me know. Alright. Bustling fungus does not count. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's bustling fungus. Oh, speaking of, uh, white items, uh, if I find a white 
Um, uh, most of my white items are pretty good. If I get enough useless white items, I will totally exchange them all for bear. But that's if I get enough. Yeah, I don't like the uh, strategy of just getting a ton of pepper times and just relying on RNG. I'll let that just me. That's what? Two. Do you want to do two or one? Yes. Now we. Oh, I found the teleporter, by the way. Nice. Also, I learned that's an area of this thing. It's not like a. I thought it was like just a big floating thing, but no, it's an area of effect of where you have to look for the area of the uh, certain particles, which is so, they should honestly change the area in the fire one to be a different yeah. color. It's kind of hard to see in the uh, red area. Also, I'm glad I, oh god, no. I'm just going You're to- You are right over there. Yeah, I'm just killing as much stuff as possible. Yeah, I infected all the enemies near you from all the way up here. To uh, get some shields. Uh, dramatic entrance. I love doing that from a high place. Oh yeah, that's super fun. I'm gonna look for one more chest. If I can find one. Um, here, use this. Oh wait, you can't use your scanner. It automatically uses it. Yep, two, one. Okay, there's like three items back there. One of them is a coin slot. And chest. Uh, cautious slug, that's okay. Better than nothing. Fungus, fuck me. Also, I learned another interesting thing. With enough sacks of funguses, they can cover the entire map. <laughs> oh, I bet. So you're always here. Also, I love bullet surfing in this game. Bullet surfing? Yeah, you basically when enemies shoot you, you can right. jump on. Oh! I found it. The run safe. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. Fungus. Um, and bullets. So I'm gonna keep creep glasses. Uh, I don't need sprint as well. And then I'm gonna trade them in for bear. That's four sacks of damage um, damage blocks, which should help with the, uh... Oh wait, that's when you're outside of combat, so I would need the invisibility. There was one of... Should I get the bear, or should I get the one that when you kill an enemy, it drops orbs? Uh, the bear. Find it again. Question. I know it was over here somewhere. It's one of those question marks, I know that. So I was nowhere near it. Uh, 
that's the scrap ore, so it's not there, so it must be either. I just hate that he moves so slow. Well, we got all the items on this stage, so let me know when you're ready for the teleporter. Yeah, I'm just slowly going to the bear. I see it. I wish you could, like, dispense all four of your items instead of one at a time. Yeah, there's a mod that makes it so the animation is way faster. I can't wait to experiment with mods when we finally beat that stupid Mythrix. Okay, I have times full. Are you ready? Yeah. That should help definitely with survivability. Oh good, Beetle Queen, this will be easy. I can't even tell what's like stuff on the ground that hurts me and what's stuff on the ground that hurts them. I'm just going to kill some enemies so I can some Yeah, I'm going to kill some of these small enemies. the last one. Oh, over there. Uh oh. I can't have just two flame balls. That is you. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. <laughs> okay, what did it drop? What? What? Why? Why did you do that? Oh, I did not mean to pick up the two, uh, vagrants. It's alright. Are you ready to go? Because there's not I really think... anything else. I thought I only picked up one. No? Are you ready to go? There's nothing here. Yeah. Did I pick up anything else by accident? Because it was... Yeah, you got like four items. Or you got like... Oh. Because... Oh. Fuck yeah, you guy. got four items. I got two. Sorry. It's alright. Ooh. Should I get one? Yeah, I'll get a second one, and then you can get one. Hopefully we can find some better use items soon. What does the crown do again? I can't remember. It, uh, makes it so you get gold when you hit enemies and lose gold oh, yeah. when you get hit. You want to go for the void fields now? Because I think we're ready. Sure. And then that can give us more items. Yeah. So you At least get... two more red oh. items, or we'll die trying. So you would get the first, uh, I got four items, so you get the first four items, and then we can split the rest. 
Well, no, like, on the teleporter, I got two items and you got four. So... That's why I said, uh, when we go here, you can get four items at first. I just need, like, one extra item, really. Oh. Oh, yes, this Adventure. teleporter is well hidden. 